Hello there, welcome to this week's spelling test. I'm going to jump straight into it, so you'll hear the word, then the definition, the definition again, and then the word again. Your first word is simply. You are simply the best. You are simply the best. The first word is simply. The second word is nobly. They fought the battle nobly. They fought the battle nobly. The second word is nobly. The third word is horribly. The praying mantis eats horribly. The praying mantis eats horribly. The third word was horribly. The fourth word is humbly. He accepted the trophy humbly. He accepted the trophy humbly. The fourth word was humbly. The fifth word is gently. They removed all the valuables gently. They removed all the valuables gently. The fifth word was gently. The sixth word is possibly. They could possibly make a plan. They could possibly make a plan. The sixth word is possibly. The seventh word is incredibly. Incredibly, the dragon rose from the mountain. Incredibly, the dragon rose from the mountain. The seventh word is incredibly. The eighth word is terribly. We teachers miss you all terribly. We teachers miss you all terribly. The eighth word is terribly. Your ninth word is comfortably. He sat down comfortably. He sat down comfortably. Your ninth word was comfortably. Your tenth word is probably. Probably it was a mouse. Probably it was a mouse. The tenth word is probably. Now when you finish your spelling test, have a look through the answers when, when I reveal them and in green pen fix them, either with green pen in your home learning book or green text on Seesaw. Here are the answers now. Simply S I M P L Y Nobly N O B L Y Horribly H O R R I B L Y Humbly H U M B L Y Gently G E N T L Y and possibly P O S S I B L Y Incredibly I N C R E D I B L Y Terribly T E R R I B L Y Comfortably C O M F O R T A B L Y and finally probably P R O B A B L Y Mark yourselves a score out of 10, any that you need to fix, fix in green pen or green text on seesaw. And let's see what this week's spellings are. So for this week's spellings, we are again looking at creating adverbs using the suffix ly, but the root word this time ends in ic, ik, or al, ow. Let's see how this works. 
Okay, so we have no new grammar techniques that we're looking at. We are still looking at the same grammar from the previous two weeks. Again, we're looking at adverbs. The adverb is that word that modifies the verb, an adjective, another adverb, or even a whole sentence. Adverbs end, often end in ly, like they do today, but this is not always the case. We also have suffix. The suffix is a letter or the group of letters at the end of a word, which makes it a new word. So our suffix that we look at for adverbs is the ly suffix. And then we have the root word. The root word is the basic word that has no prefix at the beginning, no suffix at the end, just the basic word, but it can be added to. OK, let's have a look. OK, so here we have our spellings for this week. First one is basically. Your turn. Basically. Brilliant. OK. Sorry, basically means to do something in an easy way. Yeah. Now we have frantically. Your turn. Frantically. I didn't hear you. Frantically. Brilliant. OK. Frantically. To do something frantically is to do something in a rushed or hurried way. Grammatically. Your turn. OK, later this time. Dramatically. Much better. OK, this is to do something in a really enthusiastic way, like I did just then. Uh, your next one is magically. My turn, magically. Your turn? Magically. Fantastic. And that's to do something that seems unreal, almost. Then we have tragically. Your turn? Tragically. This is when something really sad happens. So something really sad happens. It's you know something can happen tragically. Okay. Or he fell over tragically. Okay. Comically, your turn. Comically. Brilliant. So this is to do something in a funny way. So you know when you watch TV and you see someone trip over a banana, so he fell over comically. So instead of tragically, we now have comically. Opposite ends. You'll probably remember that now. Uh, next one. Actually. Your turn. Actually. Now, this is when you might start and say, well, actually, I know this, or actually, the sky isn't blue, etc, etc. Okay, it's a way, it may be a way of correcting someone. Next word. Accidentally. Your turn. Accidentally. No, no slack enough now. Louder. Accidentally. Much better. This is sort of the opposite of doing something on purpose. So when you mean to do something, it's on purpose. But if you do something accidentally, you've done it by accident. OK. Then we have occasionally. Occasionally. And this is when you do something sort of every now and then. OK. So you don't do it like quite consistently, which would be the opposite of occasion. You do something occasionally means you do it. Yeah, I might do it today, I might do it tomorrow, like Mr. Cody goes for a run, occasionally. Probably should go more often. Okay. And then we have eventually. Your turn. Eventually. Okay, and this is when something finally happens. So you'll be like, eventually, everybody arrives at the party, or something like that. So what do all these words have in common? That's for you to answer. What do you reckon these words all have in common? Yeah, that's correct. They, they all end in that L-Y uh, suffix that we've been looking at. They're all adverbs. Very good. Yeah, brilliant. Let's see what else we got. So we have the root words. OK, so what do the root words end in? This is important because that's why we're doing this particular rule. So if you look at the root word for basically, the root word will be basic. It ends in that ick, basic. OK? Base, ick, and it ends in an IC. Whereas, uh, let me think, okay, actually, so if you look at actually in the middle there, the root word would be actual, it ends in that UL sound, okay? So what needs to happen to the root word to get this LY suffix that we want? You can see that all the words end up ending in ALLY. So basic becomes basically. 
and actual becomes actually. Okay, that's sort of the rule for this spelling. Okay, then. let's look at how these root words change. So we have the root word dramatic in the green box there. Just to make it more obvious. We have the root word dramatic here. So to be dramatic is to do something enthusiastically. So to be dram to do something dramatically, we need the L L Y and you'll see that actually we add, we add the A L L Y to the root word. So we don't get rid of anything this time. The pattern is that we add the A L L Y. So most root words that end in ik or l change to end with the letter pattern A L L Y to turn them into adverbs. And you can see this happens with all of those on the screen. So if you look here at frantic, to do something fran to yeah, to be frantic is to be rushed or hurried. Therefore, to do something frantically is to do something in a rushed or hurried way. And you'll see we add these A L L Y bits. Okay, so when you spell the root word, all you've got to remember then is you need to finish the word in A L L Y. So your spellings this week will all finish with that A L L Y. Okay. So let's have a look what your spellings are then. Okay, so as we said, we our first word is basically. This is to do something in an easy way. Frantically, to do something in a rushed or hurried way. Dramatically, to do something in a really enthusiastic way. So we're going to say dramatically, you know, I was going to say it dramatically, I'll be going, dramatically! Right then, uh, magically, that's to do something that seems unreal. Do you know when you watch those basketball clips on YouTube and they're making like ridiculous baskets from like half court? You know, that, that's just, he, he did that magically because it just doesn't seem like he's real. Tragically, obviously when something really sad happens. Comically, this is when you do something in a funny way. So we've all seen it when a, a character will fall over something and they fall over comically, okay? Or you could laugh comically when you're like, ha, 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 That would be laughing comically. Actually, that was when we were correcting people. To do something accidentally is to not do something on purpose. So something happens and you're like, oh, I'm sorry, I did it accidentally. Let's say you're throwing flour all over the kitchen. You know, you did it accidentally. You didn't do it on purpose. Oh, I'm sorry, I did that accidentally. Occasionally, that's when you do something every now and then. Like I said, with my jogging. I go, I go jogging occasionally, whereas Mr. Keane goes jogging consistently, apparently. And then we have eventually. This is when something finally happens. Okay? There are your spellings for next week. Remember, the root word, if you know the word, root word, all you have to do is add the A-L-L-Y word pattern at the end. Good luck. I look forward to seeing you in next week's spellings lesson. Catch you there. Bye-bye. Have a good weekend as well.